city council members has announced she is going to campaign for state attorney general. Yeah, Lorena Gonzalez is in her second term on the city council, and before that, she worked as a civil rights attorney. She announced her 2020 campaign for AG this morning, pledging to fight for all Washington families. We've got Brandy here. You've covered her work on the council, so talk a little bit about Lorena Gonzalez and and what you think she might bring to that spot. Sure. Well, let me first say that I thought, and I was just telling Travis this during the commercial, I thought her campaign video released this morning was very effective. It painted a picture of how this campaign she's launched this morning for attorney general really goes back all the way, uh, in a sense, to her childhood. I want to play just the first part of that campaign video for you. Watch. I was very young when I saw a man, a farm worker in the cherry orchards where I worked with my family. He'd been beaten so badly by the owner that he could barely move. I decided that day that if I ever get off these farms, my mission would be to stand up for those who can't do it for themselves. She says so from there she went on, she went to law school, got her degree, ended up working as a civil rights attorney, and she said one of the very first cases that she assisted with involved helping the children of migrant workers, uh, much like her parents who worked on the farms when she was a kid growing up. So in that sense, I thought her campaign launch was very effective this morning. It happened at about 6 a.m. Uh, in the video, she also touts her record, and we talk about what kind of councilwoman she is. Uh, she talked about working to get paid family leave, working for uh, LGBTQ rights. Uh, she also touted her record on police reform, and, and I think this is an area that could help her and hurt her, in a sense, on a campaign. Um, there are going to be people who laud her efforts to help with police reform, but also remember Seattle's police chief, Carmen Best, a couple weeks ago made a rare political stance asking for more support for her officers from the city council. I sat down with Chief Best in an interview that's going to air next week. Uh, she wouldn't name Lorena Gonzalez by name, but it was clear that she was one of the council members she's referring to, so I wonder how that will come up in a campaign. I also want to note, Lorena Gonzalez is pregnant. She announced that last month, mm -hmm. which I think is going to be awesome for women. Just a side note, uh, you're going to run a major political campaign as an expectant mother. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing to seeing that message Maybe out that, there that women can yeah. do that and still run for a major political office. Maybe that'll bring up a conversation about paid leave for families. Yeah. I mean, she's talked about that as well. Right. There is something that comes to my mind, however. There, there is a current Democrat <laughs> who is the current attorney general, and he hasn't made any plans to go anywhere, at least officially. What, what does that yeah, mean for Bob Ferguson? Yeah, there are a couple big implications to consider. This isn't just any political announcement this morning. There are two big implications to consider. One of them is one we've been discussing for a while. It's the fact that uh, Bob Ferguson, the attorney general, is widely considered to be a candidate for governor should Jay Inslee decide not to run for a third term. But now you have Bob Ferguson in this weird state of limbo. He's not going to announce his run for governor until Inslee makes up his mind. They are political allies and friends. At the same time, he now has a serious challenger to his current job. So so he's probably, you know, and she's getting a head start on a campaign. Uh, so he's left in a really weird position by this, I will say. The other implication to consider is we currently, we just had a primary on Tuesday. We currently have seven of nine Seattle City Council seats up for grabs in November, and that doesn't even include Lorena Gonzalez's seat. Uh, so if she's planning to leave, there was no indication in the announcement this yeah. morning that she's going to leave her, her post on the City Council to conduct this campaign, but if she gets the job, uh, and decides that she doesn't want to be a council member, you could be looking at eight, you know, if all the incumbents lose in November, you could be looking at, down the line, eight new faces of nine on the Seattle City Council. So, like I said, it's not just any regular campaign announcement this morning. Uh, it has so many other implications yeah. to consider. Because she has two more years on the council? Uh, I'm not sure that... if it's two. She's in her But she's not term. running for re-election so this, her, her this year. Her seat is not up for right. re-election. Okay. Yeah. She has a, a, what's called an at-large seat. Yeah. So the ones up for re-election now are the district seats. Right. Uh, and so, yeah, she's not up for re-election in November, and she's making this decision to, to run while she still has her seat. Brandy, thank you very yeah. much. All right, to uh, more national news now, President Donald Trump and the first...